PK. Prashant Kishore is going to take up the crucial responsibility in Congress. As per the information, he may get the post of National General Secretary. It may be announced within two or three days by Mrs. Sonia Gandhi, the President of the party. Now, the question is whether these developments will help Congress get to power at the center or not. Prashant Kishore is basically a political strategist who has succeeded in making a few leaders winners. First, he worked with Narendra Modi, then for Nitish Kumar. Later on, he worked for Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy in Andhra Pradesh, Stalin in Tamil Nadu, and Mamta Banerjee in West Bengal. He has worked for Congress in Punjab as well. He has worked for Kejriwal in Delhi too. Everywhere he has got the success which made him a key person in Indian politics. But he faced failure in Uttar Pradesh for Akhilesh Yadav couple of times. The thing is that he can take the leader or a party to success when they are a bit disdained from it. That means if anyone has got a positive climate in the politics but is unable to confirm their success, he can get it with the strategies of Mr. Prashant Kishore. He cannot make a leader a winner until the leader himself has the caliber, capacity and image among the public. He is a catalyst and he can influence politics whenever there is a small gap between the rivalry parties. The negative part of Prashant Kishore is that he will do whatever takes him towards success like uh, creating rifts between the castes and communities, bad campaigns and personal assassination of uh, rival leaders. These strategies will damage the social outlook and the dynamics of the society. But he never cares. He wants only success and he wants his leaders to be a winner. Being a strategist, he stood against BJP now. His aim is to defeat Narendra Modi and show his capability to them who has been rejected and insulted in the post-NDA scenario in Bihar. Which is why he keeps on trying to push Congress and Mr. Rahul Gandhi. At last, in the second attempt, he has succeeded in convincing the leaders of the Congress who are in shock with the five states results. Prashant Kishore can bring the Congress into the mainstream now. He can formulate new collaborations in different states. But whether he can pull Congress into power is a big question in the present scenario where the strongest BJP is challenging in Indian politics. Definitely, he can refresh the Congress and the party can be a hope for the anti-BJP people under his monitoring and with his strategies. This is high time now Mr. Rahul Gandhi should emerge as the strongest national leader even if he can't become Prime Minister.